will be back again. I want to show you how to create sweep object. I got like rectangle shape and I will show you how to create sweep object because we need two shapes a profile shape and a curve a path shape this is a, my path shape and I will be doing profile shape as well I, I will draw curve but I want to use uh, one specific tool. Grease pencil. Because grease pencil, I can quickly convert to curve. It has all it has also interpolation and you can quickly uh, change uh, this. I will show you in a minute. Clean up the C make curve. I think now my shape would be suitable and we also want to close that shape hopefully this should be okay I want to keep snap curve <clears throat> keep control control shift alt c origin to geometry shift s cursor to select tag I will leave interpolation as it is. Okay, after that I will quickly snap to vertex center. I want to use one of my favorite features for snapping object objects increment. Absolute grid snapping. If you are the person who prefers to do properly and to be precise, you can use that feature and wait a minute. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't see where I was. And I will change it to gag angle. I don't know if this is important or not, but because we go sweep like bevel, bevel profile, I need it to be uh, accurate. What I do, object. Wait a minute. Which one I should get select? The guess or guess? Oh yes, I was actually, I was right. You can see how accurate it is because we placed properly our object. After that you can convert this. You can still modify your sweep object. When you rotate this in edit mode depending if you were using transform evoke median point median point or active element <clears throat> okay i will use a normal pivot the agate parent which can be useful because this gig not exist before because we are using Blender 3.6.0 the newest one this has lots of new update, updates and features what is this? I didn't see this before 
I I will talk about some other interesting options like Gilk and Kragius, but maybe next time. Okay, I will show you now. Normal. You, we can even locate our sweep object if we manipulate that object. You can create cool stuff when you work uh, using this option. You can also move like that. You can even use single points to modify original shape. You can also use handles. You, you can even change resolution. Wait a minute, I just have to check something. Uh, where this option was? I could actually use a resolution of the object. Oh, smooth. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know this will smooth my object, but I checked and this actually works. I think I'm supposed to select curve. You can change the resolution of object as well. Uh, I have to move I have to check. Probably in edit mode I can check this. You can still subdivide segment and subdivide so you can do something else with within this object. Uh, we can use radius, I believe. You can still use radius to change thickness of this sweep object. Uh, I believe you can use a, a rocket kill. You can use kill for sweep object. I hope you like my video tutorial people. This has been updated to 2023. Uh, how I what I did with original curve. Uh, I converted rectangle polygon to curve so I could uh, use this. Uh, this I already showed to you how I did this. Now you can convert uh, to mesh. You can save and you can revert. This will delete previous operations. I hope you like my video tutorial. Bye guys.